Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone already has your lunch and a good one. I know it's always a bad timing to host an event after lunch, but I hope this webinar will excite you. Yeah. I'm Boon Singh, Senior Director with NetPlus Asia, with more than 25 years of IT experience working in various NMCs, de delivering IT solutions. My last project was to deliver a global voice solution for my ex-company. And I know how important it is to have a single soft phone that works on both your laptop and mobile in order to improve productivity in your overall work. I'm sorry, today we, we have some technical issue with GoToMeeting that uh, we can't show our camera, but uh, do enjoy the session. Today I have with me Chaddy from Right to join us. Chaddy has many years of experience working with partners to build technology roadmaps and new solutions to enable business with their digital transformation journey through the vision of modern workplace. She'll share more on Microsoft Teams and how you can collaborate with your colleagues and your customer effectively and more efficiently. I'll conclude with how you can add PSTN voice to your existing Teams license. Chetty's experience working in Microsoft for modern workplace evangelization through webinars and partner sales and pre-sales Readiness is a key factor to help partners and customers strategize on how you can leverage M365 in your programs and solution. Both app in Microsoft 365 technically and sales, you can definitely reach out to her for modern workplace strategies. A bit of logistic for today, throughout the webinar, all participants will be muted. If you have any questions, please submit them through the Q&A text box on your GoToWebinar panel. We'll take all questions at the end of the seminar. Mingta, our voice lead with MedPlus, will join me in answering, answering your questions during the Q&A. Yes, lucky draw. You can see that we are giving out the Plantronics Voyager UC 5200 earpiece, uh, Bluetooth earpiece today for your participation in this event. It has the best noise cancelling feature among all the Bluetooth earpieces in the market today, especially for making audio calls. To participate in today's lucky draw, do stay with us throughout the webinar. I'll flash the QR code at the end of the webinar during the Q&A session for you to register. I shall now hand over the webinar to Chaddy. Chaddy, please. Hi, thank you very much, Boon Seng, for that um, very good introduction. Let me just share my screen. All right. Can you see my screen clearly, everyone? Okay. Yes, we can see each other. Okay, thank you very much. So yeah, um, today I'll be discussing more about how to help you in terms of simplifying communication with Microsoft Teams. But first, um, I'd like to give a short introduction about myself. My name is Chadi Mae Barinian. I am the pre-sales technical specialist for RIPE. Um, to give you like a short bio, I am uh, also a certified trainer as well as a Microsoft Teams admin associate for uh, Microsoft 365. I also do um, some mobile development in terms of Android. So I have here like two pictures of what I have developed with my team, Emoji Express and also electronic prescription and um, also an avid reader and also sometimes if I have free time a writer. So thank you very much NetPlus for introducing me or um, inviting me through this webinar session for today. Um, so we all know what's happening around all over the world, right? COVID-19 has affected thousands of people worldwide. And we also know that a lot of business was also affected by um, different types of regions across the, the world or across the planet. Now, a lot of companies have to move from their traditional settings in terms of having everything on premise or having everything um, in servers uh, to move into looking into cloud 
so that they'd be able to have their meetings, their calls, their emails at home, um, wherever they are. So um, today I'd want to focus on how we can help you in terms of these uh, turbulent times and how we can help you keep the flow of productivity and collaboration through the use of Microsoft Teams. Um, Teams is a very great application because it's a, it is a central hub for all your chats, your emails, file repository, and even use it to edit documents online, which we'll be discussing later on on these series. So what does modern workplace mean to you? Actually, Microsoft just changed its name from modern workplace to modern work plus security. The reason why they changed it to modern work is because um, you can work anywhere and there's no place for you to work, like a single place for you to work in. So modern workplaces can depend on different types of companies depending on their culture. Right. So, for example, we got um, companies who are very um, into having their work at using their laptops. Um, other companies uh, how uh, does work from home, which is also another culture of modern workplace or other companies just simply uh, like working using their mobile devices like their mobile phones or their tablets. So it depends on how modern workplace is in terms of your perspective. So we all know that the world is changing. We live in a time of incredible transformation. IT, especially technology, is always evolving every day, every month, every year, depending on how the world is changing, right? Or depending on the trends, the reason why technology is always changing. Now, it's always rapid. We all know that. And the reason why our world is changing is because of these types of trends that's happening right now. Number one, cybersecurity. Definitely, um, if technology evolves, hackers, threats evolves as well. So it's very important that we always have the latest tools for us to protect ourselves from potential danger within uh, our network, right? Second, before we used to um, have our uh, news on our radios or um, on TV, but now not lots of people don't use radios anymore. And some people use TVs to, to get all of their news, right? But most of us use Facebook or use um, different types of social media platform to keep track with the news that's happening right now. Third is because of disaster, um, like for example, typhoons, uh, earthquakes, we need to be able to develop or have uh, a second option for us to be able to protect all of our files and documents, even if there's disruption in terms of our business and IT. Currently, you might hear a little bit of thunder noise outside because um, uh, it's actually raining right now here in the Philippines. But yeah, and then um, other things that can also be the reason why modern workplace is happening is because of um, how diverse the generation is now, right? So we have five generations working together now. 80% of time, employee time are spent in collaborating and 72% of workers will now be moving or working remotely by 2020. And it's not just 72% now, but it's more than 72% because of the pandemic that's happening currently. So this is the reason why I wanted to show you how Microsoft Teams can help you in terms of um, dealing with that pandemic or dealing with um, certain changes that's happening around the world. Number one, Microsoft Teams um, can help you in terms of communication, chat, meetings, or calls. It can also help you in terms of collaboration, such as um, attaching files or documents. For example, we got this July promotion Excel sheet We're in it's deeply integrated with Office 365 applications wherein you can open that file, co-author, and edit with um, your colleague. Customize and extend. Now, we Microsoft does understand that not all companies use Microsoft-centric uh, softwares, right? But they also use third-party applications such as Adobe, Bitbucket, or even Zoom. Some people even use Zoom to do um, uh, web conferencing or meetings, right? But with Microsoft Teams, it just doesn't limit you to what Microsoft has to offer, but you can also 
pin um, contents on top of each channels. So an example of this is if you are using Zoom as your meeting or conference, then you can definitely just pin that Zoom application up in Teams and then have it all inside Microsoft Teams even so. And then last but not the least is working with confidence. Definitely, we do understand that um, there are a lot of shadow ITs, especially with how communication is now everywhere, right? Lots of companies, especially in Singapore, uses um, third-party tools such as WhatsApp to do their communication there. But it's a lot difficult, especially for um, IT to manage the level of security that is being sent there. For example, I send out a screenshot of a um, a picture of our budget or target for this year on WhatsApp. If that person leaves the company, they still have all of the access of the things that you've sent out inside WhatsApp. Unlike with Microsoft Teams, if someone boards the company, then they won't have access to any of those anymore. So let me just um, give you like a short overview with each of the things that I've described just a while ago. But this is how you can communicate through chat with Microsoft Teams. You can either do one-on-one -on -one group chats. You can communicate using GIFs, stickers, or emojis, just so that you have the culture of being um, happy and close within your organization and Teams. It's also available across um, devices like mobile, desktop, browsers. And if you have Surface with you, then it, it can also, uh, it's also one of the best um, things that you can use as well. Communicate through meetings. Um, you can definitely choose to have um, meetings anywhere at any time that you have. Actually, we did uh, Microsoft, not Microsoft, but a blog that I read through just a while ago says that Microsoft Teams has the most um, pull in terms of bandwidth, right? Um, at two Mbps, you can definitely use meetings at a good quality already. Unlike with other platforms like Zoom or other communication platform, uh, uses more bandwidth than Microsoft Teams. Um, now you can choose to have, for example, um, a meeting conference room with those devices such as the one that I have here, which is Think Smart. Um, you can put those, put those devices on conference room so that whenever you're there, instead of having it on your laptop, you can just use that device to join in inside the meeting. Um, and it's not just uh, this one, but we also have what we call communicate through calling, either through phone system, calling plans, or direct routing. Now with um, SG, currently um, calling plans, is not available in um, Singapore, uh, so calling plans has to do uh, has to go directly with um, NetPlus, for example, which provides you SIP trunking calling capabilities inside Microsoft Teams. Um, that that type of uh, implementation is called direct routing. Um, it's where you can have your own uh, dial pad inside Microsoft Teams. You can choose to dial in and out of a call, or if you don't have internet, you can use audio conferencing so that people, um, you can also, you can uh, pull in someone inside uh, a call, inside a meeting conference call later on, which also will be shared um, or demoed by NetPlus later on. So you can also have access to the applications that you love. You can co-author with Office. You can um, use OneNote, Power BI, Planner, etc. You can put it all there. I'll show you later on and how exactly it works on the demo um, after this. You can also choose to customize and extend, just like what I've said a while ago. You can put in third-party applications inside as well, and you can also integrate workflows to simplify the process and accelerate decision making. So if you are familiar with Microsoft Flow or Automate, Microsoft Automate, they call it Automate now, uh, you can um, definitely create workflows within Teams without having to open a third, without having to open another tab inside your browser because you can have everything inside Microsoft Teams. Working with confidence, this is what it looks like inside the admin center of your Microsoft Teams. You can actually also see users based on location. So for example, you are a worldwide company who doesn't only have companies in Singapore, but also in other countries as well. You can also see all of those users based on the location. See a graph, 
graph of what it looks like and also view um, more information about uh, what you want to restrict for external or guest access, right? Microsoft Teams devices as well, so you can, you can do two things, either personal device on desk or mobile phone stations. Um, this is what I said a while ago, which are the shared devices wherein you have a conference room phone, Skype room systems, or large screen collaboration uh, devices. So yes, you can definitely work um, with Microsoft Teams across these types of uh, certified devices. AI and Teams available today, which was actually very surprising because Microsoft always updates Microsoft Teams. Almost every month you get a lot of new features. Um, it's not just limited to these, but there is also a new feature called raising your hand, wherein you can raise your hand during a meeting so that um, if you have any questions, you can just um, use that raise hand button so that uh, they can you can unmute yourself. Um, or there is also some things such as customized um, background, wherein you can put in other pictures as your background than doing background blur. In the future, um, I'm not sure, but I think October, there will be a new uh, feature called breakout rooms in Teams, wherein if you have like big sessions, definitely you can use breakout rooms to divide those people and then have those um, room sessions with each of your audience. Teams for different departments and industries can depend on how you want to use it. For example, IT uses Teams to drive IT transformation and change management. Engineering sales uses for um, delivering proposals or working with proposals together within their team. Or for example, if you are an education um, uh, education schools, for example, you can use uh, you can use Microsoft Teams to empower your students. For example, you create assignments, you assign tasks, do homeworks. You can do it inside Microsoft Teams as well. So definitely, it depends on how you want to use it. But what's important is being able to adopt Teams within your organization. Right. So that's it for the whole basic overview of what Microsoft Teams can do. Now let's move on to the Teams demo. So the Teams demo I have now, the, this is the agenda that I'll be showing later on, is how to change presence, create, manage channels, Teams group, add apps on Teams, co-author, etc. Okay. Now let's move on to my demo. Okay. All right. So here we have a Microsoft Teams um, web app open right now. But you can also choose to have your Teams um, uh, application installed on your device or client. There isn't much any difference with either using web app or your Teams client. The main differences are just some feature features such as um, background blur, etc. Things like that. Yeah. Um, so here we have uh, Microsoft Teams. Our persona for today is Megan. Megan is a marketing manager um, from Contoso Electronics. So this is a day in the life of Megan and how she uses Teams every day. So you can see here, you can definitely change your status depending on um, if you're busy, if you don't want to be disturbed, or if you will be right back. This is actually a very good feature, especially for those working from home, because you don't see your colleagues at home, right? So if you're going to, for example, um, cook lunch, or if you need to go through the bathroom, then you can change your status to be right back. It actually also um, automatically changes your status based on your calendar. If you have a meeting on this certain day, um, your, your character will, or your presence will be moved to busy. Right, so let's try to put in do not disturb. So if I put in do not disturb, for example, it will say that my status says that do not disturb. I'll only get notification if it's urgent or if it's from my priority contacts. So let's remove this. Let's make it available again. Okay, um, and then inside Teams, we have what we call Microsoft Teams group. We have here Mark 8 project team. Uh, this is more on our uh, project that we're creating inside Contoso Electronics. You can see down below um, channels as well, research and development, um, design, 
go to market plan so channels are used so that you can have different topics on different channels right so for example anything that has to do with go to market plan will be here anything that has to do with research and development will be top here there are also some tabs available up above. So just like what I've shown just a while ago, if you want to add a new tab, you can click on that plus add tab. And then you can search for third party applications to join in as well. So let's see if Zoom is here. It's not here, but it should be available under your apps here. If I go through more apps, you can see more applications that you can add. Are you guys familiar with Kahoot? It's one of our favorite <laughs> favorite um, game that we usually do. But if we want to add that, just click on Kahoot, for example, and add the team. Let's see if it's still there. There you go. So you can see even Zoom is available um, on Microsoft Teams. All right. Um, so another thing that you can do is you can start a new conversation. If you want to make an announcement, just click on this one and then you can create a subject saying announcement and then um, hello, for example. And then you can make it into a important announcement right there. And then let's tag in someone else. Let's put in Adele under and then click on send. And because I looped in Adele, Adele will be able to see that I message her inside her feed. Can see my activity as well, just like with Facebook, I can see my activity. Um, if I want to, for example, chat someone, I can just click on Adele and then there's a chat button right here wherein I can send her one-on-one -on -one chat. So we can say, hi Adele. And just like with um, other social media platform, you can put in GIFs or you can also create your own customizable um, stickers. Let's say yes. It's finally Friday. <laughs> and then enter. There you go. So this is what it would look like um, in private chats. Just like with Teams, you can also add in applications as well. You can also view the organizational chart of Adele depending on how your IT manager has set it up for you. Calendars, how you can set up a meeting is also available here. If I want to set up a meeting on Friday, I can just click on new meeting, say um, meeting sample, put in my required attendee. Let's make it Adele again. See if she is available or not on the day. So you can see that she doesn't have anything booked for today. Change the date. Let's make it 1 p.m. on Monday. You can also do it weekly, monthly, the meetings. Add a channel wherein you want to set up the meeting to, add the location, and add more details. Now just click on send if you're done, and then it will be sent um, next week. There you go, meeting sample. If I want to join in, just click on that um, meeting sample that you have right there. You can see um, a join meeting option right here. If you have audio conferencing together with NetPlus, you'll be able to have something like this as well, wherein people, um, even though they don't have internet or they don't have Teams, they can just join in using this mobile number right here. Okay, so let's join in. Hello. So you can choose to um, turn on your uh, webcam or not before you join in a meeting. If you click on join now, this is what the meeting would look like. When you go through conversations, you can definitely chat up here. And this is what I shared just a while ago, which is your raise hand feature. Wherein you'd be able to see people who have joined in raise their hands if they have any questions within the meeting. You can also choose to record it as well. If you want to um, uh, also put meeting notes, you can do so right here also. And when I record this, for example, this meeting right here, and then end it, it will show up, uh, the meeting recording will show up here, wherein you'd be able to view it inside Microsoft Stream. Right? Um, and other things that you can do is, for example, if you go through design, and then look through the files right here. 
in Microsoft Teams, it's always synced up to your SharePoint. So whatever SharePoint files that you have located here, it will be shown up inside Microsoft Teams. Just like here, there's a SharePoint button right there. So let's click on a certain document, which I just clicked on right now. It opens up Word. See, you don't have, you don't even have to go outside Teams to open up documents, open up SharePoint or Yammer because everything is already integrated here. So you got this here, for example, and if someone is editing the same document, their name will show up right here. There you go. You can add comments, edit. You can also do conversation so that when you're editing the document, people within your organization can um, chat with you as well. All right. Um, so basically, that's it for my demo. That's uh, that's everything that you need to know about Teams. Um, it's it's just very high level. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too technical for you. But um, yeah. Um, thank you very much for joining in. Um, for uh, this one is some things that you need. You can also choose to do is if you want to start using Teams, download the app, um, pick a project, and then um, do all of the collaboration inside Microsoft Teams. This is what it would look like when you download it. The logo here is not updated. It's it looks different now, but yeah. <laughs> so trainings, adoptions, links here available. And then if you have any questions, just send me, Reborn and Bunsen, an email. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for um, uh, for that. Back to Reborn or back to Bunsen. Thank you. Hey, thanks, uh, Chedi. Now that you have learned more about Teams and how it can improve your collaboration, I shall go into how NetPlus can further provide uh, a more rounded communication using Teams. Let me start by asking this question, right? Uh, why add PSTN capabilities to Teams? Like what uh, Chedi has mentioned, uh, uh, WhatsApp is not, uh, first of all, it's not secure. Yeah. So, but uh, there's similarity in the sense that Teams support communication uh, among Teams user. That means that you can only text another team user or make Teams to Teams call. Without PSTN, you know, uh, you will not be able to make an external call to a landline or, or or a mobile phone yeah so adding PSTN gives you the flexibility to call someone that do not have teams uh, uh, installed on their mobile device and of course you can start receiving calls on your teams app later I'll show you via a simple demo to at the end of the presentation to show you how how teams call uh, can be made from your mobile as well as from your uh, laptop but most important of all you can call anyone anytime anywhere on a single platform across multiple devices be it your computer your mobile or teams enabled phones so how to achieve that you probably already have a M365 or Office 365 uh, license and Teams comes uh, uh, with it. What you need to add on is actually a uh, phone system license uh, with uh, Microsoft. And then coupled with our NetPlus SIP trunk license, which will give you a local number or you can port your existing local number to NetPlus and that's it. With this, you achieve a full cloud calling experience for your users using Teams. If you want to further add on uh, down-in numbers for your Teams meeting, you will need to purchase the uh, audio conference uh, license separately. Okay, once you add PSTN uh, capabilities, uh, on the right, you can see the picture that uh, comes with a dollar. This is what you get on your Teams app on both your computer as well as on your mobile. This will enable you to make a PSTN call to landline or mobile number. In addition, you do get a list of uh, PBX feature shown on the left 
uh, I shall demo the call part feature, which I find very useful when you want to continue a call between two different devices. For example, if you were on your way to work and you receive a call on Teams or, or your, your so-called office number, which will time to tie to your Teams account, you'll pick it up on your Teams on mobile. Once you reach office, uh, basically, you may want to transfer that call and uh, continue that call on your laptop. What you can do is actually you call park it on your mobile, which will give you a call park number. And then on your computer itself, you open up Teams and you pull out the call park and key in the call park number that was previously parked in your mobile and pick up the, 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 the call from there and continue you know, your conversation with your other party. I'll demo that uh, later in my, in my uh, demo to everyone. So with a dialer integrated in Teams, you no longer need to install different app on your mobile for different purpose, giving you the flexibility of contactable on the go. So uh, now I shall demonstrate uh, how it works on Teams call. For Teams to Teams call, it's simply uh, looking for the person that you want to make a call and click on the call button to establish a call. Media data travels through the internet during the call. If you want to make a call to a PSTN line, uh, you will key in the phone number through your dialer and Teams will make a connection through their Microsoft phone system to our SIP trunk, yeah, NetPlus SIP trunk. And this will establish a call to the mobile device that you are calling to. Likewise, when someone call you on your local number tied to your Teams account, it will establish a connectivity to, through our SIP trunk and this will connect to your phone system and connect back to your Teams uh, uh, app, which will ring. And you can pick it up from uh, either your mobile device or your computer. NetPlus will handle all the integration required uh, to enable your Office 365 tenant to communicate with our SIP trunk during the implementation. So in summary, what license do you need? It really depends on the license you have currently. If you are on uh, M365 business plan or enterprise uh, E1 or E3, you just need to purchase an additional phone system license from uh, Microsoft, uh, be it a common area phone license or a phone system license. Add on this Snack Plus uh, SIP trunk adapter license at USD $5 per user per month, you will be allocated a local number. Alternatively, like I mentioned, you can port your existing number to Snack Plus. Porting fee applies. With the local number, you can start making local and international calls via Snack Plus SIP trunk. But if you want to add in a Darwin conference number for your uh, Teams meeting, basically you can upgrade uh, your M365 license to uh, business voice without calling plan or add on audio conferencing, additional license for your each one or E3. As you can see, those on E5 is simply to subscribe to NetPlus SIP trunk to enable voice on Teams and you are good to go. So let me do a quick demo on what you can see on Teams, how to make a, a, a call on uh, our Teams and do a call part. Uh, give me a minute while I try to establish a connection to my mobile phone.
there be me a second. I'm trying to mirror my mobile onto uh, my monitor. Let me restart my application. Okay, let me first dial, look for someone to dial to. While I wait for my apps to come on. Let's dial to Alvin, yeah? On his mobile so i can easily select for someone and then uh do a call just now you see that when i press a call on elvin either i can call it on his mobile or through teams hi hi is that elvin hi but saying here you are live on air uh yep we are demoing a, a call from uh teams Okay, and uh, just to show everyone, when uh, I'm talking to to uh, Alvin on the laptop, I can actually, you know, if I need to rush off to a meeting, you know, I can call park park the call, and what happen is you generate a code. Yeah, unfortunately, my screen on my phone could not be mirrored but I can actually go into my phone and pick it up by entering this call part, okay? So now I'm talking to uh, Alvin on my, actually on my mobile phone. Alvin, can you hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, so this is actually on my mobile phone now. Yep. So with uh, basically what I want to demonstrate today is that with Teams, you can easily uh, pick a call from either your mobile or your laptop. And this gives you the mobility that uh, uh, to, to take the call anywhere, anytime with any device. Okay, just a short uh, demo. Now I just shall move on to the next slide. Okay, as part of this webinar, Today, we are giving a promotion on uh, 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 up to 25% discount of our NetPlus SIP trunk uh, adapter licensing. This promo ends uh, by 30th of November uh, this year uh, and with a minimum of 12 months uh, contract period. So without uh, delay, you can contact your account manager to discuss further on how to port in your existing number or move uh, your PBX into Teams with Voice. And remember, with this, you can call anyone, anytime, anywhere with NetPlus SIP trunk on Teams.